So here's what it looks like. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna show you how to cook like a hobo. Let's make a mulligan stew. Alright, now that it's dark and it's time for supper, we're going to get our two quart pot here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little water in it using our canteen. And we're going to put maybe, oh, about half the canteen in there. So, about a half a quart. Next, we're going to take this water and we're going to put it on the fire. We've got some coals going here and we're going to get this heated, get it started to boiling. All right, there we go. I'm going to let that heat up. The next ingredient is we've got a can of corned beef. We're going to open that up and we're going to dice it. We're going to cube it. Of course, use a little key here. And I went ahead and used modern things so that you all can actually copy this if you want. I picked all this stuff up at a local grocery store. Most of you are familiar with the way these cans open. All right, there we go. Looking pretty good. Now we're just gonna use the top of our stump to slice and dice this. I'm gonna use our sheath knife to do the work. All we're doing is cutting it into basic cubes. And it's not wanting to come out of the can real good, so we're going to have to just slice it like this. Now that we've got this diced into cubes, we're going to put it in the pot. The next item we have here is just a medium-sized onion. And we're going to dice that up, and we're going to put that in there as well. Now this recipe is from July of 1940, so this is a 1930s era 
recipe and it could go back much further than that. All right, now that we've got the onion paper peeled off, I'm going to go ahead and slice this onion up. All right, that's pretty good. Now we're going to gather this up and put it in with the rest of our meat as it's heating up on the fire. Do a little stirring here. Get that kind of stirred in with the meat. The next item we're putting in is a can of peas, and uh, we're just going to pour this in with the rest of it as it's cooking. I can tell you one thing, these old fashioned can openers are nowhere near as effective as a new one. You can see all of the jagged edges that it leaves behind. Alright, let's pour this into our stew. And we'll give it a stir. The next ingredient we're going to put in is some ketchup. Now a lot of the ingredients you're going to use and how much you use is going to depend on the size of the pot that you have for your hobo outfit. And we'll give it a stir. Now while that's cooking, we're going to want to add a little salt and a little pepper to it. Now again, some of these items have quite a bit of salt already, so you want to be careful not to overdo it. You want to salt it and put the pepper in it to taste. First we're going to add the pepper. Again, not too much, just enough to season the pot well. And then we're going to add a little salt. We can always add more later. We don't want to put too much. Our last ingredient is a little bit unusual. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But what we have here is we've got in wax paper, we have a couple of pieces of hardtack. What we're going to do this is we're going to take this hardtack and we're going to use our safety hatchet here from marbles and we're going to break it up. Now the reason you want to do this is because this stuff is so hard and it takes a while for it to soak up the fluid. So if you can break it up a little bit, that helps a lot. Alright, we're going to gather this up and put this in the pot as well. Alright, just add that in. Try to get as much of it as we can off the stump. and give it a stir with the spoon. Now we just have to wait and let this simmer for a while. Ideally you'd want it to simmer about an hour. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on it and that'll help hold that heat in on this very low fire that we have built here. Alright, it's been simmering for a while. That is one delicious smelling stew. Big chunks of meat in there. Simmered to perfection. All right, let's spoon some out on the plate where it can cool. And we'll see how it tastes. So before we get into eating this mulligan stew, I'll give you a little background. 
Mulligan stew was very well known back in the days of the hobos. And often they would go to work at farms and they would be various places throughout the day and they would gather back in around the hobo jungle, the hobo campfire, and they would all bring a little bit of what they had managed to pick up during the day. Of course, canned goods were very easy to find. Uh, people would give them perhaps as payment, but you would also be able to get potatoes and onions and all sorts of things. And many times they would just put whatever came into the pot that night and that became their mulligan stew. So it became sort of a catch-all name for any kind of a soup that had a bunch of different ingredients in it. And there's quite a few recipes out there. Some are pretty complicated. But I really like this one. It's simple. I have another one or two that I may try. And uh, if you're interested, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, anyway, mulligan stew and comes from the Irish. Uh, it's Irish word, of course, is a mulligan and has, doesn't have anything to do with golf in this sense, but has everything to do with an absolutely delicious stew. I'm telling you, this smells absolutely delicious. All right, we gotta be properly thankful for our meal. Hobo never knows where his next meal's coming from. All right, let's try our first bite of our mulligan stew. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. What a great and simple recipe from our ancestors back in the 1930s. I wish you all could be here. Try a bit of this. absolutely delicious flavor. This has got to be some of the best soup stew that I've ever had. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I hope you enjoyed the video. You should try this recipe. It's extremely simple, very easy to carry camping with you, and it's absolutely delicious. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the more button where you can check out our links for our school, waypointsurvival.com. You can also sign up for our Patreon where you can support us for as little as a dollar a month and we really do appreciate that. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time.